36 minutes of leftover women complaining about men not dating anymore. So we're not going to watch all 36 minutes. Probably get, you know, maybe halfway through. We'll see. But let's get into it. And I hope you're having a good Saturday. How do you feel about the dating scene in 2024? Non-existent. Dating in your 40s is really for the bird. New York dating scene sucks, so like here I think it would be so much better. New York is really just like, fuck up. Before this year, I was dating excessively. I was having sex with pretty much anyone who would validate me. Right now, dating is- Why is it always women without wedding rings giving out dating advice? The dating scene in New York City is cuckoo banana. Good guys are bad guys. Good guys for the long run, bad guys for a good time. Dating in 2024 is hard work, man. Done fucking around with you guys, okay? So if you're making... These dating coaches and podcast needs to stop ruining these women. Welcome back. We ask that you subscribe to the channel. That's the only form of support we asked of you. Thanks. Yeah, let's get a subscription inception going on. So I'm already subscribed to Cosmic Verse. So subscribe to my channel as well and his. You. I'll give you a tip. Date guys that you have no interest in at first. Practice with guys you wouldn't even be interested in at all. Just so there's no pressure. Because women, we want to be the chooser, not the chaser. And when you don't have attachment to anything, then you're, you come oh off gosh. as very confident. That's very sexy and attractive to a man. And you'll get in the habit of being, I'm the chooser, I'm the chooser. Like, I don't even want you. Show me why I should want you. And you just start with like what? low level guys that you wouldn't date. And then you do that like 10 times. When a guy comes that you're interested in and you notice, you're like, oh my God, I'm getting needy. And it's like, no, if I did it with all these guys, they're no different. This guy's no different. You manage it with them. You can manage it with him. You know? Women that see this video. What do the hell? Multiple women to their doom and just adding on to the trauma. Oops. I guess it is. See this video. Do not, I repeat, do not listen to this advice. This is very stupid, ignorant, and unsafe. Wow. So, oh my God. This is just another instance of, of an older woman giving a bunch of younger women just horrible advice. So, let me get this right. Let me get this straight. Her suggestion, suggestion, my goodness, is to waste everybody's time, date guys that these ladies don't even like, basically lead them on and eventually devastate them. Just so you can develop the trait of of being detached. So that when Mr. Wright comes along, she won't be needy and he will want you. Did I hear it? Is that what she said? Yo, these ladies will do everything but just be fit, feminine, and friendly. And yes, be confident and, and not needy. But you don't need to do a bunch of experience dating and playing men and wasting everybody's time to to get those traits what what these women seem to have a hard have a hard time understanding is that if a man does not find you physically attractive and hot <laughs> no mind games is going to change that we are not women uh, you know, at least I'll just I'll just speak for myself here and say looks are the most important thing to me. And and what she does after that will determine if I actually want to spend like extensive time with her and you know, see see if I actually want her to still be around after we sleep together. And also, you don't you don't need to do all this to not be needy. Just make the conscious effort to not be needy. I mean, my goodness. These women are already on like a, a tight enough timeline. They don't need to be wasting everybody's time and and date men that they don't even see a future with. This is bad information. That is awful. It, but it never fails. It, it never fails to just leave me sort of like, wow, did she really just say that? It's just another example of just like the blind leading the blind and she looks older, right? And she doesn't have a ring. She's not married. So I just I just don't get it. And that certainly is a 
sign of if a woman knows what she's talking about because you know if a woman is married a man's married it's very different women typically are the ones who are just like they want the commitment that's that's a sign of if a woman has succeeded if she's got the ring but she has not got the ring stupid ignorant and unsafe Women like this prey on the gullible types and desperate women. These yeah. are the same women that gaslight and cry about. Men don't think women are human. All projection. Another classic example of women giving wrong, bad relationship advice to other women. If you stop dating American women and start dating in other places, you won't even talk to American women. This is how men and women end up damaged. But only women will put all the blame on the past partners. This is bad advice for women and a good outcome for men. very bad. There's a reason why this woman here isn't wearing a ring. This is a how to own many cats relationship advice. This woman is only leading multiple women to their doom and just adding on to the trauma. I guess it is true what they say. Women hate seeing other women happy. Well, and this is the kind of shitty thing about the experience of a woman is that there's really not much these women can do to like make up for their maybe lack of physical attractiveness in the eyes of the man they're into. Because every man, you know, he, he has what he, 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 he's got certain things he likes and wants and expects from a woman. But it's like that does kind of suck for these ladies and, you know, whatever is that there, there's really nothing they can do to make up for a man's lack of physical attractiveness or or his his lack of perceiving her physically attractive. There's really not much these women can do, and a lot of these ladies go to women like her to see if there is something they can do. Oh, yeah, sure, just be super detached and not needy and be really confident, and he will overlook your lack of looks. And I just don't think it's realistic um, because... I'm a man and I know how important or that that that's like the first thing that makes me interested. Are you pretty? Are you a cute girl? Are you attractive? Are you hot? Am I physically attracted to you? You can be the most confident four and I'm good. <laughs> you know, that's it is what it is. Listen, just because you might have to let go of And also no money, no status, nothing can make up for it. No confidence, charisma, social skills, nothing can make up for it. It's just the way it is. Stick expectations that don't actually for women matter or have any kind of contribution to your long-term happiness. Like a man that's six feet tall and a man that already makes X amount of money doesn't mean that the dating pool is dry and doesn't mean that men have it easier than women. It's just that women have a very fucked up perspective perception of exactly what's going to make them happy. And honestly, they're dreaming small. A lot of people say that they're dreaming too high and need to lower their expectations. And I don't agree with that. They need to raise their expectations. Um, and they need to look at what really matters. Because you can get yourself a six foot something tall, six figure, well cut, blah, blah, blah man. Um, but that doesn't tell me anything about the way that he's going to lead you, care for you, protect you, cherish you, love you, stand by you, be loyal to you, lead you, and fucking fight for your goddamn kingdom. Okay? Wow, that's that's a lot. That's a lot. So, but notice, notice how all, all of those things that she just rambled off there at the end were not related to money. Those are male gender roles that women still expect from you that are not monetary. It's not related to money. So lead them and protect them. Those are, those are two big ones. Protect them is like the biggest one, right? It's to be willing to protect them and then also lead them right lead their emotions all this uh, make decisions right be this leader in the relationship that all these women want those are two big ones and this is why men should still expect women to adhere to their female gender roles because women still expect men to adhere to their gender roles no matter what the financial situation looks like they like they again Male gender roles are not off the table like like women believe female gender roles are off the table. So like no matter what the financial situation looks like in the house, these women still expect a man to be a man. Be a real fucking man. Right? That's what's that's what they expect. They all want that real man. 
they all want the guy who, you know, what does a real man even mean? But certainly they want a man who will adhere to his male gender roles. So look, if a woman expects a man to lead her and protect her, she better make some sandwiches and do some laundry. I agree. Dating for men comparing to women is really hard. Honestly, men are really simple creatures. We don't really ask for much, but that's got to change. A lot of men today need to raise their standards when it comes yeah, to dating that does these need modern to women. That is, if you plan on dating a modern woman. But you have got to make sure they're bringing the same thing you are bringing to the table. So if you're making $50,000, don't date. I'm, I'm just being for real. You're not ready to date. Again, I'm with you. You're not, ready to, date. You're not ready to date because courtship costs. Okay. Everything costs. Okay. You can go for 22 walks in the park. Eventually, Shorty is going to need a sip of something. She's going to be thirsty. <laughs> this <laughs> bottle of water is $3 in Atlanta. Let's not play. So if you don't have any expendable cash, don't date. And whatever that looks like for you, you might only make 50000 but you live in a shoe. And now you got expendable cash. Or get you a bottom of the barrel bitch that's going to date you when you have no money. If she doesn't have that expectation, and I'm going to tell you this right now, enjoy it while it lasts because eventually you're going to want to run. Because she doesn't stretch you. She doesn't make you the man that you need to become. She allows you to be the stagnant dude in the same jeans for days. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you think this woman who is extremely well fed is going to be able to make any man level up? And she can't even make herself like level up. I, I just find that super annoying to hear. This, this woman thinks she has the capability to inspire a man to become that next level. Look at you. Get out of here with that. You can't even inspire yourself to go to the gym. Eventually, you're going to want to run because she doesn't stretch you. She doesn't make you the man that you need. She doesn't make you the man that you need to be. Do you think you can do that? Become. She allows you to be the stagnant dude in the same. If a man needs a woman to become a man. And you know what? I've actually heard this a lot from like the, the trad cons. And I've, I have heard this quite frequently actually through my life and it's like this idea that a man needs a woman to become the next level and i guess i understand it in a way that if she's like supporting him and is kind of being selfless and is com dedicating and committing herself to helping him and and relieving him of certain tasks so that he can then take his time and put it into something more important that will actually help him level up but really, it's just the outsourcing that is helping him. It's not necessarily the character or, or the fact that a woman is around him. And it's just her mere presence, her feminine intuition and energy. Just all of a sudden, with a snap of the fingers, this man is, is the next level man. It, it's kind of like an assistant, right? It's like, well, if, if you help, if you, if, if you assist me and you allow me to outsource some things that I don't have to spend time on, and I can then delegate those certain things to you. And then I can take my time over here and put it into something that will actually um, produce results. Then that makes sense, right? But I don't – is this is that what this woman is talking about? You think you think she's going to be willing to be kind of like sort of like an assistant for a man? I, I highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. And – yeah, I don't, what else was she saying? For days, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but no, I'm just talking about man. Money isn't everything to all women. Okay, so it's nothing, nothing else. So, you know, it's likely that, like, if her father would have followed this advice to not date, if he's not making at least 50, 51,000 a year, I don't know, um, then it's likely she would have never been born. Right, it's likely she would have never been born, and and in a lot of states, fifty thousand a year is above average income, and there are there are so many women out there like her that are so removed from what the average American's experience actually looks like, and not just women actually. This is men too. This is people on social media, chronically on social media, kind of forget what the average experience of the well average American actually looks like and I, I don't know if these broads are spending too much time on on instagram like maybe their their explore page 
their for you feed on TikTok. All this is just feeding them with a bunch of fake experiences from people kind of flexing their life, trying to make it seem like their life is a lot better than it is. So these these people start to get a a uh, false perception of of reality. Or maybe they're just not that bright. I don't know. But either way, you know, they, they never fail to to show their ignorance. And just remember, you you can't buy genuine desire, right? And of course, a woman like this has absolutely given it up to a guy who didn't make forty thousand a year, let alone fifty thousand a year, right? And then she also says courtship costs, right? But I would imagine uh, the only courting that a woman like this is really familiar with is the food court. Not every date has to be where you spend money. However, nice dates here and there are appreciated. I don't want materialistic things. I want effort, thought, love. The price of recording equipment needs to be raised. We can't feed her and her ego at the same time with 50K. <laughs> How much you make doesn't always equate to low or high quality experiences. Financial literacy is a thing. So many women are going to remain single with this mindset. If you want to date the world's way instead of God's way, then by all means go with this narrative, completely out of order. If that's how it's going to be for men, it should be the same way for women. If a guy were to get on a podcast and said the exact same thing, he would have been labeled as a sexist. 50K just isn't enough to feed her. Dating in 2024 is hard fucking work, man. Holy fuck. Why doesn't anyone communicate? If you just want to lay, just say, fuck. But don't fucking lead me the fuck on, dickhead. Because if you want a love bomb, bitch, I'll love bomb you back, bitch. You want a baby? I'll give you a motherfucking baby. So that's... Don't. Don't do it to me, boy. But it's just driving me crazy because she's a fucking going nuts with. And the push pull shit. I'm sick of I'm about to. Burr. The mouth on to this what one. I was originally saying. Um, dating is really hard. In the fact that she can even get men to still talk to her when she talks like that just goes to show that a lot of these women don't. They don't even need to know what men want in order to get men to actually entertain them. I mean, this is crazy. Listen to the way she's speaking. She sounds like a drunk person you would encounter at like a Waffle House, like 2 a.m. or something. Just the, the fact that she's able to speak like that. And I would imagine this is how she, she typically does talk. This is her behavior. And she's still talking about how she's able to get men to at least like kind of kind of entertainer. her and then 24 just don't gaslight me dickhead like come on son dating is really hard for everybody and it's just gonna keep getting harder i personally think nobody is in the right place right now mentally to date everyone is just hurt this generation of dating is bringing more pain than pleasant memories Tell me why it still hurts even when like you're getting back into dating and you feel more, more mature and you end things with someone after like a couple of dates and like I've been on like three dates recently like three dates with three different guys but I, I've gone on like second dates with all of them second or third dates and I ended it with one guy the other guy ended it with me but I was gonna end it with him anyway so that was mutual and this other guy you just can tell he doesn't feel it and like I thought that because I'm more mature and because it's mutual or because I'm making the decision that it would be less hard and I would be less sad because it's early on and stuff but I think when it's just stacked on top of each other like it adds up like why am I crying like Don't know. does anybody else feel this way even just like when you feel like you're mostly healed and you're going back into dating like why does it still fucking hurt i hate it out here <laughs> now try getting wow there it is again there it is again we got another healer we got another healer over here 
another injured woman who needs to who needs to go see her therapist. Oh my god. You know, dude, it makes so much more sense when you, when you actually start looking at these women the way they view themselves. And I I'm not making assumptions here or putting words in their mouth. They are the ones who are so adamant that that something needs to be healed. I'm I'm not, I'm not the one saying this. I'm I'm not putting words in in their mouth. What? So why should I not believe them when they say they need to go do some healing? Why 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 would I not believe them? Whether they actually have any real trauma actually isn't the point. It's the fact that they believe they do, and they identify with it so strongly. They identify so strongly with that trauma. They perceive themselves to need healing. So yeah, I mean, when, when you take them at their word and you start looking at them the way they view themselves, it, it starts to make a lot of sense, man. And I would, I would probably say that a lot of them are being drama queens when it comes to all this trauma stuff and, and the needing to be healed. But again, that doesn't matter because it's, they they believe in it. They believe it themselves. They identify with it so strongly, so therefore it becomes their their reality ultimately. So and I think I think there was a study on like safe spaces and trigger warnings and it showed that it actually makes people's trauma it makes their trauma worse because they start to identify with it. And constantly are thinking about it, and it becomes a part of their personality. So it's it's the same thing going on here with these types of women who are constantly talking about healing, constantly talking about how they have they're so traumatized when when life is it is is the way it is nowadays. So I don't know, man. I just just let it go. <laughs> Just let it go and move on, and and with time, you'll get over it. Don't don't affirm it to yourself, right? Don't continue to reaffirm that message to yourself, and that's obviously what these women do every time, right? Every time they suggest that they need to heal, or they use this type of language. But I mean, do you think their therapist is going to tell them this? Do you think their therapist is going to tell them to stop reaffirming these things? I think their therapist is going to tell them to stop using this type of language. Where do you think they learned this language? Th their therapists are the are the ones introducing them to this type of thinking. And sure, you know, their their fellow woman, right, on TikTok and Instagram. But where do you think that woman learned it from? It's it's like a snowball effect of of just therapists invading the minds of, of the young women and just perpetuating this language that begins in their therapy sessions dude and again hey man it's not me i'm not i'm not the one not the one starting this snowball effect here they have only themselves to blame so it makes a lot of sense why they're constantly saying it healing trauma just therapist language all right cha-ching cha-ching cash cow Therapists are rolling in it. It's never been a better time to be a therapist. That's for sure. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. Maybe not quite halfway through, but yeah, I'm going to end it there and hope you have a good Saturday. I have a good weekend. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a subscription. And I'll catch you guys later.